three, two, one. Hello, everybody. This is Sumin, and this is James. Welcome back to our video. So we are on the way to London now because my flight got cancelled from Manchester to London so <sighs> for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> I was supposed to get on the plane tomorrow morning from Manchester to London so I can catch the flight to Korea, but it got cancelled for no reason. So. Fun time. Yeah, we get to have a little road trip down to London the day before, stay in a hotel, then you get to fly tomorrow. Yeah. I am going back to Korea this time because um, I have to finally choose the wedding dress. Do and the wedding yeah, yeah, do all the wedding preparation. I have to go to our wedding venue and check the food and check everything else. That's kind of main reason. But another reason why I want to go back to Korea this time is because I think it's probably the best time to spend quality family time before getting married. Especially my dad is retired now. And then probably from next year, I, I kind of have to settle down in the UK. <laughs> years, yeah. yeah, for a few years. So yeah, I don't want to miss our family time. I feel like everywhere I go, I'm bringing the lockdown energy. <laughs> Yeah, because if you think about it, I left Korea in March. It was the first wave, first hit with the pandemic in Korea. So everybody was like, oh, freaking out. And then as soon as I leave Korea, it got better. And then as soon as I come back to England, the lockdown has started. And then it seems like in Korea, uh, we are about to have another lockdown. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to spend the whole year of 2020 in lockdown it's just crazy so far i have spent 90 percent of 2020 in lockdown and i think it's just crazy yeah i was supposed to go to france in may to study french but it got cancelled but at this point i feel like i just have to stop cancelling everything because i feel like we do need to live with this situation for a quite a long time now. I'm going back to Korea for two and a half months and then um, I'm going to France after that. <laughs> so we're gonna meet in France. Because yeah, if we will meet in France as long as I can go to France without having to quarantine. So far, even if I'm in France, we can't meet each other because there's self-quarantine stuff. So I really hope I can uh, come to England for Christmas because I do love spending Christmas with uh, family. So if you come back from France, you have to quarantine, which would be fine for me because I'm working from home anyway. So I'm basically quarantined. But it just um, means if you try to come for Christmas, you spend the entirety of it in quarantine. Yesterday, we went to drive through coronavirus test center so I've done all the tests done because I really don't want to be the one who carries the virus to Korea I think it would be such a shame for me to do that and also I think it would it would be like so annoying because I've been trying to be safe for the last six months and the, like the last minute I got the virus and then um, spreading the virus in Korea I think that's like the nightmare for me so I am really trying my best to make sure that I am the safest person uh, to fly back to Korea so we we weren't allowed to film in the place but to give you an idea of what it's like to go through a driving center um, basically the start of any zombie film ever where they have the white tents everywhere it's very apocalypse -y. Yeah, it was it was really scary. <laughs> what a weird time that we are living in now. Oh, uh, the reason why we uh, turned the camera on is because we want to talk about a interracial relationship. Ever since I started YouTube, the most frequently asked question was about the interracial relationship because obviously. You know our nationality is different i'm korean he's british um, and there are there are loads of people who are in a interracial relationship these days they are finding like cultural differences or just differences in their relationship i've been getting like loads of long dms or sometimes emails um, asking the advices of interracial relationship 
but it was really interesting because most of them were asking the same thing. Some of them were really worried about meeting their family or their other friends because they don't know how to act around them. And most of them were like worried. Uh, what if something goes wrong or you know stuff like that I totally understand I sometimes uh, worry about that too especially when your family meets my family so this video is basically me saying that if you are you know finding any difficulties in your interracial relationship try not to afraid to explain Korean culture Just to start talking about it and like educating because uh, I think the biggest thing is um, just if you don't know then it's awkward but once you know it and understand it then you can s sort of find a compromise find like somewhere in the middle where you can still live in like a sort of a Korean way and act um, in a Korean way when you meet parents and things so that your parents are happy but also so they understand like certain things you might get wrong just because you're not used to it of course we are in a category of interracial relationship because of our nationalities. I personally think that when we see us, I don't see British person and Korean person. I, I see just a two people who grew up in a different situation, different family. You never think about it at all, like, you never think, oh, this person's Korean, this person's British, it's just, yeah. just this person. Whenever I see any difference in between you and I, I just feel like, oh, maybe you grew up in a different neighborhood or maybe your experiences are different just like I found well some of the biggest difference between us is because you grew up in a city and I grew up in a village <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you traveled a lot and I didn't it's not a typ uh, typically Korean thing to travel a lot and it's not a um, typical thing not to travel if you're British it's just what we've done in our lives personally yeah like when I think about my relationship with Korean guys in the past I found like loads of difficulties even though we grew up in the same country we were born in the same country we were both Koreans I still found some conflicts most of the DMs were kind of give me that vibes where you are a little bit afraid of telling them our culture but I really want you to act like yeah, this is my culture and I think you should understand me because I'm understanding your culture. One very good point is there's nothing that strange about Korean culture that would freak out anyone that's British because obviously we have our own sort of quirks and things with our culture but I've never found anything in the Korean culture where I'd be like, what? What the hell? Deal breaking or anything like that in it. And I, I think it's, it can be like Korean thing. We try to think other people's you know, position. It's called 배려, but I'm not sure how to translate that word in English. But... Other, you, you try to think about, like, the other person's perspective. Yeah. Maybe we're too worried about other people. Yeah. Maybe that's why, sometimes. But in that case, I really think Korean people need to be a little more selfish. Need to put ourselves first. At the end of the day, if you're in a relationship with someone, they need to understand that part of you. So it's just best to be honest with them and that um, nine times out of ten they'll be completely fine with it and that one time if they're not fine with it then you probably shouldn't be with them like because if they can't understand your culture and like where you've come from then they're not really going to understand you down the line. I was going to say something but I forgot. What was it? James the best boyfriend ever. <laughs> If you find something weird in your relationship, try not to think that is because we have different culture. Just try to think that, you know, just two people in a relationship. Just rationally think about it. Like if you feel like this is a red flag, that is probably a red flag in your relationship. Try not to... Um, Try not to overthink, yeah? Try not to put all the problems into, oh, this is probably, you know, we have different culture. That's why I don't understand him. That's why she, you know, he doesn't understand me. Just get get rid of your nationality in your relationship. Um, Just make sure you talk to each other about it because he could, or she could, sorry. <laughs> he or she could um, 
come out and say, oh, no, this is just something I've done since I was a kid, or they can come out and say, oh, if this is a problem, I can change it, that's not a problem. Or, and just talking about it will solve most of the problems, or at least help you understand why it's happening. There is definitely stereotypes. Can I just say, not all British people have bad teeth. <laughs> Yeah, there is definitely um, stereotypes going on in every single country. But it's 2020, like who cares? Who cares about a stereotype? Like, you know, there is no rules, like make your own rules in your relationship. If it's a problem now and you don't talk about it, then it's going to be a bigger problem in the future. But make sure when you have that conversation, you sort of know what you want to say ahead of time so you're not saying it like just as they've done it so you're angry or annoyed or whatever make sure you say it when you're calm and you're ready to have a detailed conversation require a lot of like knowledge basically because you're gonna have to learn a lot of information to understand that person's point of view so don't don't argue angry you know we're not perfect we also fight sometimes and for over like really stupid things normally we film when we are happy when we are doing something but it's quite weird when we are filming while we are arguing like we're like okay we're gonna film this we're gonna vlog our arguing that's so weird but we we do argue we do have some fights yeah. over over you know nothing yeah. i'm too messy you're too bossy yeah yeah when it comes to like a real problem, we try to have a serious conversation, but not like, you know, yelling at each other, not like, you know, arguing like crazy. So, um, yeah, just talk a lot. Yeah. I think we talk too much. We're too talkative. That's the problem. Well, speaking of which, I'm a bit chubby. And you know, we said we're not allowed fast food. Yeah. yeah but this is the road trip. Yeah. So, potentially, could we get um, chips from McDonald's? Cows! Oh, loads of them! Yeah. Cute. Um, I don't know. We will see. <laughs> so, I got a bottle of water just so we have an extra one. Because I don't fancy a drink. Burger and chips. <laughs> Looks good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> He has a lot of boyfriends. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>